our new location. It's quite quaint. It doesn't work. Oh, what is it? It's a music box. in the dream or anything. My dearest, dearest Eliza. Honestly, I, I wish there was more I could say. I wish there was more that I could have done to 
that could have made you stay. I, I miss you, and it's, it's only been 10 minutes. And you know, there was so much that I wish I could have said and, and, and done and, and demonstrated to you how much I feel about you. I wanted our future to be. I wanted it to work. It was everything I wanted. It was part of every, every fiber of my being. I just wish I had more time, you know? More time to just tell you all these things and demonstrate all these things in my actions and my words and, and the things that I did. But it's too late now. And it's over. Evidently. Oh well. Good morning, good morning. How's it going, buddy? What's that? It's... It, it's nothing. It looked like nothing. It was nothing. It's got you cross. Eliza broke up with me this morning. I didn't even see it coming. I'm sorry. It is what it is. All I could say is I tried my best, you know? But... You know, I... I, I really think that I... I think I loved her. I think I did, and I, of course I don't, I don't realize that till she's gone. Well, I mean, at least you have had a good girlfriend. I mean, she was really nice. Thanks, Nigel. I do have a bit of good news, if you want to hear. Um, I was reading through the journal this morning, and I came across some initials reading HR. Does that mean anything to you? Well, I, I think I'm going to go to the library, figure it out. Do you want to come? No, I just, I just want to be alone. Well, I'm going to leave this here. You probably should just take it with you. I, I just don't, I, I can't right now. I just need to be alone. Okay, well, We'll leave that here for you then. Oh, and you left a mess in the washroom, by the way.
All right. Shh. Sorry. All right, HR. Paranoid, uh, man. Are you no, going no, crazy? No, it's on the tip of my tongue. Something. It was. Hagar. Hagar. three years, I've been doing a case study on the notorious and gruesome serial killer of Providence, Rhode Island, um, Hayden Broth, um, who is well known by the locals as Hagar the Horrible. And, of course, he is well known for um, painting, various paintings, with the blood of his victims. Um, a lot of the locals mention that his paintings are Windows peering into hell itself, which is why a lot of them wow, now have not been documented. A lot of them are not taught in local colleges of Providence, Rhode Island. So, um, I hope you enjoy the website. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me at uh, clarence.thomas.edu.at.sarahlee.com. Uh, and uh, I hope Sarah Lee is so. Paul's got to see this. Blimey. <laughs> Can't do this again. Again. Not now. Not ever! Moved. You holding up okay? Are you daft? God bless you. Just God bless you. Jeez. Well, I did some research. I HR Hagar. It's an alias. It's all here. Twentieth century. Nigel. Look. What am I looking at here? The answers to all we've been looking for. Nigel! I cannot do this anymore. What do you mean? I cannot go on these exploits with you. 
This, these, these exploits of going into the woods and chasing the supernatural, going after psychopathic fishermen, supernatural, I, I can't do it. It's consuming our lives. We can't focus on what we need to focus on anymore. Uh, okay, okay, I, I, okay. My life, Just, it's, I cannot focus on my life. Hang on, what hang on, hang on. We'll give it a rest and come at it with a fresh mind in the morning. No, 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 no. That's not good enough anymore. What are you saying? I'm, what I'm saying is you're the problem here. I'm the problem. You're causing my life to just be at this this bent position. This is about Eliza, isn't it? Nigel, you need to leave. T Don't be dark. Do we both live here? You need to leave. Right now. And take your stuff with you. I... Get out! What the hell? Oh, Eliza. <laughs> Why?
Call Eliza. Eliza, hey, it's Nigel. Just calling in to check in. See how you are. Call me. Eliza, are you here? It's Nigel. She's seen how you're doing. Paul's taking the breakup pretty. in Roth.
Oh. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I just came to check on you. I yeah. I tried calling. What's going on? Is is Paul okay? I don't know. Ever since he kicked me out of the house, I have no idea. Since he kicked you out, that's not like him. There's a lot of things that haven't been like him since you broke up with him. I, since he, he... I broke up with him. Nigel, he broke up with me. What? Here, look. Eliza, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Come on. Thank you. It is, I think Paul is in danger. As a matter of fact, I think we're all in danger. If this has anything to do with your adventures in the wilderness, I don't want anything to do with them. It, it doesn't. Well, it kind of does, but hear me out on this one. This last time we went to the mountains, we weren't chased by some fisherman or some ghost. I think we unlocked something evil. Something that we can't reverse. Something very dangerous. We encountered an entity called Hagar. And I didn't really realize how evil he was until we were somehow able to get into his realm. And in that realm, we took a music box. So you took something? Yes, but I mean, we tried to destroy it. And through these dreams, he, he followed us. And he gave us this journal, and from this journal I was able to tell that Hagar is really an alias for Hayden Roth. Hayden Roth. I've heard that name before. He was a serial killer, right? He, he was. He was an artist. He would paint with the blood of his victims. 23 in total. This is why Paul needs us. We need to stick together. I'm not going back to him, Nigel. Not after this. I understand it's hard, but you have to realize- I loved him, Nigel. I know. This is bigger than us. This is bigger than you, too. I, I, how can you not Stop. see- Stop! I loved him, Nigel. I'm gonna go make some lunch. Do you want some? You know, another thing- Nigel? Nigel? Why did you leave me? Why did you leave me all alone? Paul? December 18th, 1936. My days are limited. But I justly believe that I'm ready for what awaits me in the coming hours. My neighbors underestimate the significance of my talents. 
They gaze upon my works and see nothing but perhaps a mere reflection of its creator's inner heartfelt desires. But this legacy I leave is not another collection of portraits to which some elevated swine from a distant shore can recall. No, this legacy presents the capacity that all humanity is able of seizing if recognized. My works are displays of what is to come, the inevitable certainty of humanity's destiny. Life's secrets are only discerned by the very mode of which they are hidden. And though I cannot see the outcome of my bystanders' plots, my role in this drama is a sheer fleck in what I intend to bring forth. My neighbors will forever regard the windows I'll leave behind, windows that, I plea, one day they look through. I'll show you, Eliza. You will be mine.